Hi boys and girls. Today I wanted to share with you something that I found that was kind of interesting and I thought it might be interesting to you too. Um, first thing I wanted to do is I want to tell you that this is kind of an experiment, but an experiment that helps you understand that not all products or things do the same things the same way. Like for instance, today we're going to, to clean pennies. All right, pennies <clears throat> that I got uh, were pennies that I had just thrown in my car and they had gotten all dirty and yucky. And uh, I wanted to clean them up so that I could turn them in and get uh, some cash for them. And I didn't want to do it the way they were because you, some of them you couldn't even tell what they were, <laughs> they, that they were a penny. So it got me thinking about how we could do an experiment and because you know pennies are made from copper. Copper oxidizes. You know the, the Statue of Liberty is made out of copper and, and it turns green, you know, uh, it, it oxidizes because of the air around it. Well, that's the same thing happens to pennies and that's why they go from a bright new shiny penny is copper looking color. It's the kind of orangey uh, color, but after a while of circulating through and pe different people touching it, it turns dark. Well, the reason it turns dark is because it's uh, subject to the elements, which means the air, people's hands, you know, what, wherever they're laying, whatever it's touching, and they turn brown, and they turn brown because the metal uh, changes colors and be, and puts a coating over that copper to protect the metal and that's why it turns the color does but I, so i thought well this up uh, this ought to be interesting okay i i've got uh seven different cups here and each cup has a different uh, kind of uh, liquid substance in it that i decided to choose all right i choose uh, I chose uh, lime juice, ketchup, soy sauce, vinegar, water, ranch dressing, and Coca-Cola. Okay, that's kind of a variety of things that you would have in your kitchen. All right, so what I wanted to do is I have, I have put each one a penny in it, and I made the pennies be uh, as even as I could get them, the, co the color of them, the same so that, that you wouldn't think, well, that penny probably didn't have as much dirt on it or whatnot. So I wanted them to all be just this hard to clean, okay? So I'm gonna clean them one at a time and then I'll lay them in front of the cup they are and we'll see which one cleaned up the best out of all, all seven of them, okay? And the wind's blowing a little bit here and giving me a problem. All right, so the first one we're doing is vinegar. All right, so I got a little bowl of soapy water here and I'm gonna rinse it off and then I have a rag that I'm gonna wipe it off. Okay. So there's the pink. All right, this one is Coca-Cola. Why do you think Coca-Cola might be one that would work? You know what what's in, what's in coke and what's in vinegar that uh that are kind of the same even though they look totally different in liquids well think about that a minute all right there's the, the penny from the coke all right this is soy sauce that's not something you really think about is it so we're going to rinse that off That looks pretty good. Okay. The ranch dressing, I might have to die for it because I, I dumped way too much ranch dressing in this cup in order for it to work. The lid fell off of it. Things happen when you do stuff, you know? What can I say? Okay. Let's see what we got here. 
Well, these pennies were dirty. Oh, the stuff didn't come off that one. All right, this is the lime juice. This is the ketchup, and I kind of got overzealous with it too, didn't I? Way too much ketchup in here. Rinse it off. I wonder what ketchup has in it that is, is, would make it that uh, clean up really good. Okay, there's the ketchup. And here, last but not least, is the water. Okay, so there. We have all these different ones and let's see if you can see all the pennies you see the pennies well, it looks to me like the soy sauce and the vinegar did better than all the rest they're the shiniest of all the different ones what do you think huh you think so too all right here's something else i wanted to share with you I want you to go to Google, and you see the address that I got on here? It's www.google.com, and in the search thing, type, what are some rare coins, and see what it comes up with. You might want to start collecting coins, you know, because it's a fun thing to do, and you get change all the time, and you're changed when you go to the store, or... or your grandparents give you change and look and see what years it is and what's unique about some coins other rather than others that uh, that make them uh, a good thing to collect because if you start now by the time you get a uh, to be an adult you might have quite a collection going okay so two things we learned is out of all the different things that we used to clean with the soy sauce and the vinegar did way better than the other five things so uh, if you if and the reason that those two out of the uh, uh, out of the seven thing at uh, seven items was is that the the vinegar and the soy sauce have a lot more acid in them than than the uh, other five things did so that's why they clean better I think so what do you think? So go collecting and let me know what you find out about coins. Have a good day. Bye.